Good morning, Scott Bass here with your surf report. Longtime listeners of KPPS depend on Scott Bass's daily report to see if the waves are good that day. But have you wondered how those reports are so accurate? A new exhibit at the California Surf Museum in Oceanside delves into the science of surfing, which includes a look at how waves are formed and how they can be forecast. And this long uh, tapestry here shows from when you get uh, a lot of storms that generates waves, the waves come through, and then uh, they build and build. Jim Kempton is the Surf Museum's president. He says the exhibit was funded by a grant from the city of Oceanside. The science of surfing has a number of different components. One of them is about the shape of the shoreline and whether it's a reef or a beach break or, or uh, a cobblestone point. Uh, and all of those have different properties in terms of how waves break. Uh, so you learn about why the waves break certain ways in different places. Kempton says the exhibit showcases all elements of STEAM education, that is, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Ask any surfer and they would tell you that surfing is an art, but it's also a science, as this exhibit shows you. For example, why a local surf spot is such a good spot to catch those waves. There are exhibits showcasing how math can make you a better surfer, as well as the engineering marvel behind the surfboard. And we talk about the length of a board, the width of a board, the thickness and volume, the concave, the rocker, the rails, the nose and tail, and the thin placement. If you have a board that you want to be really fast, you have a different kind of shape. If you have a board that's made for really big waves or really small waves, you'll, you'll, you'll design a different board. The exhibit is on display through the end of the year, and the museum is open from 10 to 4 p.m. daily. Alexander Nguyen, KPPS News.